Because see, just like this class where I had a teacher, she was like, everybody said they want to be doctors and lawyers, and I said I wanted to be a hero. She's like, what do you mean, like Batman and Spider-Man? I was like, no, more like a black man who can inspire me. Because see, I had a dream that was similar to Dr. King with the intensity of Michael Mason carried out by any means. Because see, I never been a person who think anything was impossible. Because even in that word itself, it states, I'm impossible. See, I never wanted to live the type of life where it just live, work, die. But in this world, I want to live a lasting legacy for those who are ahead of me. But see, I knew my problem. I kept irrelevantly stepping outside of my element unpleasantly to please the thoughts of those that shouldn't even be entertained, but yet I was intertwining these irrational fantasies and fantasies that me, myself, I can't even stand to see. Like I bought this chain. But I had to stop wearing this chain, because when I wear this chain, I feel like I change. Because even though I put it around my neck, sometimes I feel like it was around my wrist and I was bound by this, and I found out this had some type of hold on me, had some type of control on me. Telling me to touch this and touch that and want this and want that, and I thought about it, I said, change, change, change. Change the only things that hold your life in vain. Like, maybe you used to lie, but now you're a liar, you're, or maybe you used to have pride, but now you're proud for, or maybe you used to lust, but now you're lusting. It's something like a disgusting fire or an uncontrollable desire that only inspires to pull us low when we want to grow and become higher. Chains. And even when this chain ain't around my hands, sometimes I feel like this chain is around my brain because the enemy gets into me and I simply try to cloud out things, but I know I'm not perfect. At the same time, I'm not proud about things. You can say what you want, but we all have chains. You can say what you want, but we all need change. You can say what you want, but we all need rain. Because we die in the thirst. We die in the thirst. I look at my city, it's only getting worse. They want you to have the government health care and the government welfare. Section 8 EBT seems to be they want you to fail here. Now, music. I carry life, nurture life, but my cells can't decide the sex. I accept my role as woman, but I reject it. Cherish and protect it. See, your womanly energy is needed. That's how God recreated. See, so those who are fearful compete. What brings you most about your womanhood? Is too much is given, much required? Nah, it's a little bit too obvious. Maybe it's our light, not our dark most frightens us. But for me, I envy the freedom. It was to it I cleaned that I fully thought it brought me power. Until my lack of it helped me realize that true power comes from within. So we must choose to be to consider our men are accountable and are able. The best way to learn is through experience. So ladies, why are we playing it safe? If this whole thing is truly a battlefield for the mind, then how prepared are you if you are mentally ready for the base? See, I thought we desire our men to be great. I'm ready to rock in, because I come from you, and I know you, and I know why you do things, and the why you give me power, and I check in every hour to make sure you look perfect. We have mothers raising baby boys, still searching for their God, only having their sex, overcompensating for what mama couldn't give, thinking their manhood is always in question because mama, she couldn't answer it. And I got love me, and I often find... On June 1st, 1979, Williams Evans decided to commit suicide. He left the note by his bed, the red. I felt like a wild thing. I felt like a wild thing my whole life, my whole life. All I know is strike, power bring and tears. Truth be told, joy was an end. It seems like my whole life I've been battling with a bag of chests when I should have a bag of chests. It seems too complex, merely diabolical in my own mind. I feel like I'm dangling on a strange line, strange fruit from strange trees. I've been a strange for a dream all my life. Seems like if I just had one moment of love, I could find a way to live and not perish in this life. I feel like a dangling, wingling widow's tree, trying to figure out if I can cry enough tears to become a willow tree. I don't understand these things anymore. It seems like my whole life's been a game of games, and I've been trying to be the game of thrones and trying to figure out if I can own my own crown, but I feel like my crown is missing its horns. Maybe I'm not just angelic, but definitely in my own moment. I feel like I'm turning in time and trying to figure out how do I manifest in the same mind. I feel like I'm schizophrenic and ADHD at the same time, but these drugs that manifest in me make me feel whole. You tell me what a wild thing feels like, and I'll show you what a wild thing is. I didn't really want to admit it, but somewhere deep in my heart I knew it was true. You had been with her, and now the lives that we had built together would be quickly drawn to a close. The dreams that I had of a loving husband and a wonderful father to our children would now morph into the nightmares of divorce proceedings, custody battles, and lives filled with pain. It's sad to think that your one decision to step outside of the vows that we made to each other and to God will now pave the road that our whole family has to walk on. Little by little, I started accepting the fact that you were cheating and noticed the signs that all of my girlfriends would talk about when their men would go astray. The working late at the office, sudden and random business trips to far away places from home, keeping close watch of your cell phone, keeping it face down like we're playing dominoes. 
keep it closing your laptop with a thud every time I come into the room and just the feeling that you're spiritually, emotionally, and physically pulling away from me. The first time you stepped out of that door to go to see that other woman was the minute our relationship ended. A relationship that should have been built on what I thought truth, peace, love, understanding, but you traded in our truth, my truth, for lies. Lies that she, might have, that she must have sung sweetly in your ear because she came your Pied Piper and led you far away from home with a wife and children that love you. Every moment spent with her, you threw away tiny pieces of our eternity. But on 12, 15, 12, I caught you in the act. The private detective that I hired told me everything I needed to know with pictures that would be worth more than a thousand words and the thousand dollars that I paid him. <laughs> Household. It's not a word that is mystified in the air like boiling water evaporated from overheating. It's a word that has so much meaning like the birth of a beautiful daughter lying there in his mother's arms and the father just standing in a corner knowing in a couple years he'll be annoyed by his little girl over talking. But a family is a family so much love even King Kong can't conjure up and hold in his giant muscular arms. Anything can take place in a home within a family. A wife asking her husband to take out the trash or her mother, the mother's talking to her son, saying that you have a test tomorrow and to go study. Family can be a scientific word or just a basic one. The genealogy of your ancestors is the same thing as the blood running through your veins. Or yeah, I got a mother, father, sister, cousins, grandparents. But it's all the same thing. In a household, there is happiness and also sadness. All the holidays that happen almost every month. Or the crazy, the crazy, um... Take your time, baby. Ooh. Uh, the crazy, the crazy, boring family reunions that you, your old crippled grandma comes and pinches your cheeks and tells you how much you grown and gives you a treat. My child has so much responsibilities, chores, school, so much to look up forward to, so much have to be done, and um, the number one thing that kids say is the rules. They never get a break, but you break one of those rules, you have those parents to say, okay, it's okay, don't sweat it, and you have those parents to say, you're grounded until you're 18. A family is a network, a system of human beings. Sharing News far downstream. I can picture myself on movie screens, but then again, I don't want to think too far ahead and then mentally crush my dreams. If only as a child I could have imagined life for more than what it seems, I would have known I am more valuable than gold, silver, and diamond rings. When I hear them say nothing, I begin to prepare for my next show, trying to get a laugh out of them, an approval, a clap, whatever makes their hearts grow. I guess I'll never know, because with the moves I make, there is always someone to love it and someone to say they do, but really hate. They only speak up because it's the right thing, the right thing to do, congratulate, but I should be lucky they're not the ones baking my cakes. I guess I do it for the wrong reason. I guess I put on my best dress and hope they look at me throughout the season, but they don't. And then I fall, and then I try, and then I doubt, then it's the end of it all. Mind grown small. My mind grown small, and then I pick myself back up and dust off my britches and fill my own cup. I smile for me, I laugh for me, no more crying for me, you see. I am no longer invisible because if I matter to no one else, I matter to me. And that feels good. Better than hearing them say they're proud of me. I'm proud of me. And it's loud in me. I wish you could.